Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another hair video and this hair video is going to be all about how I tone my hair. So this video is going to be mainly focused on people with blonde hair which is what toning is all about. If you're a blonde or a platinum blonde or whatever kind of blonde and you tone your hair, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For those of you who have darker hair or brunette hair, this video doesn't really apply to you but if you still want to stick around to learn more about toning in case you want to go blonde one day, then stick around for this video. So a lot of you are probably sitting there wondering, what the hell does toning hair mean? What is that? I have no idea what that means. Well, when you are a blonde or a platinum blonde like myself, which by the way, I am making this video on the two year anniversary since I've dyed my hair blonde. So I've officially been this color blonde for two years now, which is super exciting. Anyway, so when you are a blonde, you know very well that sometimes when you are a platinum blonde like this, or just a really light white blonde, you will know that sometimes you tend to get brassy tones in your hair, which is could be from a number of things. Sometimes sun causes it, um, really hard water, well water, water with a lot of iron in it, it can cause a lot of brassy tones throughout your hair and if you are someone who likes to have your hair white all the time then that can get really really annoying so that is what toning is for and usually when you go and get your hair done at a salon like if you get it dyed there they will tone it for you but if you are like me and you do your hair at home like me I've been using box dye on my hair for two years to get it this color blonde then you don't really have a toner to do so but that is why they make purple shampoos or blue shampoos and that is what you know people who do their hair at home that is what we tone our hair with or some people actually use like a toner a professional toner or whatever but if you are someone who's not a professional and does your hair at home then we use purple shampoos so I'm going to be talking about how I do it and I'll be including a little demo on how I do it as well so let's go ahead and get started because I do do it two different ways so first I just want to go over um, how often I tone my hair. So usually when I tone my hair, I only tone it maybe about three to four times a month. Maybe like that's and that's like a little too much for me. Maybe like between two to four times a month is how much I will tone my hair. So usually I tone my hair after I touch my roots, which isn't very often because I can go eight to ten weeks without touching my roots with no problem. Or I'll tone it when I you know get a lot of brassy tones. And one thing I want to get out of the way is a lot of people who are like are gonna ask this is, I'm a brunette, will shimmer lights lighten my hair? No, it will not. Shimmer lights in any kind of purple or blue shampoo are for blonde hair. Like, if you have brown hair, it won't do anything for you. If you do have brown hair and you did use this, I guess the only thing that you would maybe see happen is it would look a little bit more ashy, but I can guarantee you it won't do much if you have dark hair. So purple shampoo is mainly for blonde hair. So the first way that I do it is just in the shower. And the purple shampoo that I use is the Clairol Shimmer Lights, which just looks like this and I have a love-hate relationship with the shampoo I don't know what it is but I just for some reason I mean I don't know I like it but I hate it at the same time if you want to know more about it I did do like a full review on the shampoo a long time ago so I will go ahead and put that down in the description box if you want to check that out but this is what it looks like you can get this at Sally's Beauty Supply this ranges for about almost $10 for this bottle this is the 16 fluid ounce so it's a pretty good sized bottle and it is a pretty opaque um, purple shampoo. I don't know if it's picking up well on the cap at all, but yes, that is, it's a really, really, really deep, deep purple shampoo. And this is usually what I use to tone my hair. And this stuff is so pigmented that you have to be very careful with it because it can turn your hair purple. And I have had a couple instances where I would be using the shampoo and after I would rinse it out, it would look like that I took um, a pastel purple and dyed my hair that color like it's like ridiculous a lot of people if you've ever watched a video of mine and it looks like I have little purple streaks in my hair that wasn't done on purpose shimmer lights did that so just be cautious that this stuff is very pigmented and can sometimes turn your hair purple so just be aware of that and I'm sorry but I have a band-aid on my chest so let's just try to ignore that 
sorry and what I do in the shower is I get in and the first thing what I do is I get my whole entire head wet if in this I only do this when it's brassy I did tone it uh, two days ago so this is what my hair looks like toned as you can see it's platinum it's nice and ashy and kind of white colored which is what I really like but I did do it two days ago in case any of you were wondering so what I do is I go and get my entire head wet in the shower and then what I do is I take shimmer lights which again just looks like this and I will open my hand and I will put ha a little bit like fill up half my palm with shimmer lights then what I do is I use this shampoo with it which is the Pantene anti breakage strengthening shampoo just looks like that with pro V vitamins in it and I will fill that the other side of my palm shimmer lights is so pigmented and I don't want it to turn my hair purple and another reason is this this shampoo and this shampoo work together like Oh my gosh, they're like a match made in heaven. This shampoo keeps my hair from turning purple, but this shampoo tones my hair. You know what I mean? So it's just like the perfect combination. So what I do is I put make them a little mixture in my hand, and then I just go like this with my finger to make sure it's nice and mixed up and good to go. Then what I'll do is I'll just start massaging it into my head. And I'm obviously not going to show you that because I do this in the shower, and I'm naked in the shower, and nobody wants to see me naked. So what I do is I pretty much just massage it, mainly focusing it on this area area of my hair because this is where most of the brassy tones tend to show up in my hair. So I mainly focus it right here and I run it through my ends. I don't scrub and rub through my ends because number one, you're not supposed to do that. That's just like, that's just asking for split ends. So after I do that, I get it all nice and scrubbed. I take all of my hair that's now covered in purple shampoo and I will just pile it on top of my head and I'll let it sit there for the remainder of my shower, which is about between 10 to 20 minutes and I will just let it sit there and I'll shave my legs, I'll wash my body, you know, I'll wash my face, clean my piercings, whatever I need to do, I'll do that. And then after I'm done doing everything and I'm about to get out, that's when I will rinse out the purple shampoo. And it, you always got to make sure that you rinse it out really, really good because you don't want to have any leftover shampoo left in your hair that's just going to sit there and dry your hair out. So always make sure you rinse it out really well. And before I get out of the shower, the number one thing I do afterward is I condition. And I don't have like a deep conditioner at the moment, unfortunately, which I need to get one because like you just, you just can't go throughout life without a deep conditioner, am I right? And the conditioner that I use is the Suave Moroccan Infusion Professional, the Suave Professionals Moroccan Infusion, and I use the Shine Conditioner, which just looks like that. And I'm almost out of this, so I need to get more. But yes, I use this shampoo all over my hair from maybe about here all the way down to my ends, because when you are putting these kind of shampoos and leaving them in your hair for X amount of time, you're really drying out your hair and that it can really damage your hair. That's another thing is you don't want to tone your hair too much in one week because your hair will just turn into complete straw. So don't do that. Just do it maybe once a week or once a month, you know, whatever, how often you like to tone your hair. Definitely don't use it more than that because it'll, like I said, just completely dry out your hair and it'll be a mess. Use this on my hair for about, um, I'll leave it there for a couple minutes and then I'll rinse it out and get out of the shower. Afterwards, I just put in my leave-in conditioners, which was one of the two, which is the Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion. The leave-in conditioner just looks like that. You can get this for a couple bucks at the store. So I will either use that throughout my ends or I will use my higher-end hair oil, which I am absolutely in love with this stuff, which is the Cara... Kerastase Crystalliste hair oil serum just looks like that. And again, I'm almost out of it. I need to get more. And just let my hair air dry. I hardly ever use heat on my hair. So I just let it air dry and then see what it comes out like. And for example, this is what it looks like because I did do it two days ago. So this is what my hair looks like after it is toned. I'm sorry about my roots up here. They're just like absolutely crazy. But yes, this is pretty much what my hair looks like after I tone it in the shower. So as you can see, it's a little, you know, it's platinum, it's white, it's ashy, it's silver, it's exactly what I want. Now, sometimes if you do leave on these shimmer lights for too long, like I said, it'll turn your hair purple. Well, I don't want anyone to freak out because that's not permanent. <laughs> I thought it was one time and I was freaking out because I was like, I don't want purple hair. But okay. So if you use it for too long and you get out of the shower and you realize that you have purple in your hair, no worries. What I do, because that did happen to me one time, I was toning my hair and I accidentally left it on for too long and it turned my hair purple. 
pretty much what I do is you take a really strong white, plain white shampoo, like this stuff, this stuff works great, or the shampoo version of this also works really well. What you do is when you get in the shower is scrub your hair really, really good with just the plain white shampoo and it'll come out in a couple days. So everybody, so that was my little hair demo. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you found it helpful, please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, I will do what I can to answer them, but I'm not a professional hairstylist. I'm just like every other girl trying to make her hair look good. So if you have any questions, I can try to help you. Until my next video, I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys.